again, two clashes of styles. Putting up over 40 three-point attempts per game are the Tigers this season. Virginia will start with a basketball. This is a problem area for a Savannah State team that comes in minus 15 and a half in rebounding margin. Yeah, well, you'll see they'll play a 2-3 zone, and sometimes it can be difficult as Hall knocks down a three early. Basket out of bounds play or off of a rebound, they will set up that full court pressure to try to disrupt. And a lot of zone defense. That's a great pass from Jerome DeSalt. Talking about two vastly different teams and their approach and the real question mark coming into this game would uh, here's Ty Jerome showing a nice shot from way downtown. Full court press there for Virginia. Ty Jerome slashing inside. And there's the follow-up for Wilkins. Devin Hall, what a game he had last time out. He has become such a steady contributor for this Virginia team. And he finds Jerome. Jerome's the one who's trying to get on track. And this so a couple new faces into the game for the Tigers. One of them right now with a basketball. That's Fenner trying to get around Hall, who swats the ball out of bounds. But for the Tigers, in addition to Fenner, you've got Jenkins, Grant, Sellers, and Arizu. Virginia does so well. It pushes you so high above that three-point line. So your offense is starting. They make it difficult for you to see. There's a good pull-up jumper. Lastly, took the floor just a few days ago on Saturday against Davidson. Trailed for 11 minutes and 54 seconds of that first half. And now Jerome sees another opening. And he does not hesitate. Foul was on Relake Arizu, the freshman. And now the Tigers get a rare opportunity to run, but they miss the layup. His footsteps behind them. That can, just hearing a defender coming behind you, it can be enough to make you miss sometimes. Here's Diakite getting underneath. Kyle Guy back into the game now for the Cavaliers as he will replace Ty Jerome. Benner almost lost it, manages to get it off to Evans. High shot over Jay Huff and off the window and good. There's a drive. It is contested nicely by Hunter, but gets it back only to have his shot rebuked again. Boy, he made a meal out of that shot. Here's Johnson feeding to Guy on the other side. Experience, especially for the red shirt freshman and Jay Huff and DeAndre Hunter. Ty Jerome lets it fly. Boy, he's got the hot hand now. That's the third one. To some sort of offensive rhythm, like you said, get that confidence back is huge. This Virginia team will rely on Jerome. They need him at his best. Here's Jack Salt down low. One yet, because it's a, a tough shot if that's something they get going. Anthony tees one up from three, and he buries it. The Rock of Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, what a pass. Comedy Diakite takes the pass from Jerome and sends it down. Yeah, with the lead, they've done pretty much what they want when they want. Mamadi Diakite. That had looks of Magic Johnson to it. That was a beautiful feed. Nice looking shot here for Dexter McClanahan, who scored his team's last five. And they give it away 14 times per game on the season as Mamadi Diakite unloads. Also been able to put up 60 plus points in those matchups and Virginia so far limiting them. But there's a three-pointer. Still looking to get his first bucket of the night. He's 0-3. Here's DeAndre Hunter rattling one through. Sounds might be a bit generous next to the big six foot ten inch Marika's Glenn. Here's a steal and going quickly the other way for the easy bucket Austin descent. Kyle Guy's been a second half kind of guy this season. We'll talk about that more later. Here's a nice looking shot on the jumper from John Grant, his second three pointer already. Tigers looking to set it up, but once again, five players in white all back, but it's no match. How about the hot hand for John Grant? Nine points, all of them, in the last couple minutes. He is. Tigers on an 8 0 run now over the last minute, 38. Kyle Guy tries to snap that all night long. And that was a rhythm shot. They could have played for the final shot, but won't get a chance now. Here's a rejection from Jay Huff, and that is how the first half will come to a close. Just still trying to find his way. Amazing, those two players, Javaris Jenkins and Dexter McClanahan, as they force a turnover. And of all people in the backcourt, it was the big man, Marika's Glenn, that started it. That sets up the three-pointer for Sellers, his first of the night. Here's Sellers on Jerome. McClanahan. Got it. Second half unfolds. Both coaches talked about the fact that you're not playing the score in a game like this. You're playing the moment as Kyle Guy cans the three. And here he goes. We, a lot like Bobby Knight. 
and would always say that you don't play the score, you got to play that moment as Virginia forces the turnover. The feet ahead to Jerome for the easy lane on the other side. And calling for a goaltending call. I don't think Wilkins got a hand on that. Paul glides down the other way. As that's kind of the price of admission for doing what he does. Jerome inside. Soft touch. Four minutes. That's an opportunity. Jay Huff has McClanahan sagging way off of him. Didn't look to shoot the three there, but puts the ball on the floor. You know, with Marco Anthony, Jay Huff, DeAndre Hunter getting these minutes as Johnson knocks down a three, shore up your both sides of the ball. Well, and the reality is they won't see a lot of things like this. Virginia's a different kind of animal. They won't see many guys like Jack Salt banging around down there. Had that game against Davidson, but you have the holidays coming soon, so to be able to keep focus is Jack Salt. Minutes now for Savannah State. Virginia is on a 19-0 run. And that scoring run was just snapped right there on the stick back of the tunnel with Virginia's head athletic trainer Ethan Saliva in tow. Here's Devin Hall with a one-hand plunge. He had 31 points a few games ago against Georgia Southern, so he's very capable. It's just a matter of getting that performance out of him night in and night out and finding that consistency. The shoot now. Anthony beats Hunter. Huff with the offensive rebound and the stick back. Another offensive rebound for Virginia. Completely taking control of this game. They had control at the half for that matter. Lot pass up for Diakite, who manages to kind of bludgeon it through. Full court pressure. So you think night in and night out they're getting worn down, but you wonder if these grinder of a game against a Virginia defense as stingy as able to share with recruits that are upcoming of the type of success you can have here and still play in the NBA. He should have been five points for that. That was from nearly the midcourt logo. Look at this. He was a couple steps back wow. there as Jay Huff just picked up his fifth foul. Driving in on DeBose, and he got handcuffed. It's kept alive and batted out. Tigers looking to run. They haven't had a chance to do this very often here tonight. DeBose with a hot hand. Heat check. Anthony, turnaround jumper. Evans, the jab step. Now this is the true essence of a heat check right there. John Grant can do no wrong. He's got it back. Driving on Anthony. Holds his ground well, and now a three-point try from straight away. They saved their best for last. Anthony comes away with a steal. Trayvon Gross to the rack. 